Okay, it is on. This is scenario 12, The Escape, and our mission is to escape. You're watching Cyber Neuro Druid playing through Invasion from the Unknown, and this is part one of the scenario, The Escape. Now, we'll see the objectives. You can see there are a lot of units that can't die, including King Astogar Althurin. Notably absent is Anne Linde because she left us behind in the last scenario to defend our retreat. Um, so, what else is worth noting? First of all, you can only recall or recruit units during the first turn. Secondly, any undead veterans that you do not recall in this scenario will be permanently lost. That is mentioned only briefly, but is a very important point. Now, the interesting thing is I would quite like another healer, because at the moment Elinia is the only one I've got. However, that would mean sacrificing one of my undead units permanently and I'm not really willing to do that. So let's see who we've got and who we can recall for a start. So this Spectre um, is well on its way towards an after maximum level advancement and somewhere else here is a Spectre that is already advanced. Um, so many Spectres here and they're all going to mostly go to waste. Um, now who do I want to definitely save? Milongil the Lich is on my save list for sure. Um, those two spectres that I just mentioned. And I want to save my Death Knight as well. So I'll see who that leaves me with. First of all, we should see what's around this corner, I guess. King Astogar, you're pretty hench, you can lead the way. Nothing too terrifying just yet. And we've got good old Igor at the back here. Who else do I want? I want, like I say, I want this spectre. I want the Spectre that's already advanced, and then I've got two slots left. And at the moment it looks like the best bet is to fill them both with the Spectres. Wraiths don't have traits, so there's no difference between these units. I could recall some Revenants or Bone Shooters, but ultimately they're far less useful in this campaign. Or Bone Knights, same applies, and uh, no need to go down the list as far as level 1. Um, and I don't even have any shadows. So yeah, it's two more spectres, the ones with the most experience. You, and... You. Okay, an army of ghosts. Let's escape. No one in sight. Mmm, it's too quiet. Okay, we've got ants. We've got lots of ants. Even more ants. And a little spider. Spider surely will be fighting the ants, although it doesn't look like it. It's a lesser giant spider, but it can't reach me this turn. And neither can most of the ants. So you just go grab that house. I'm kind of stuck in my ways here, I don't need to grab the house, there's no particular gain from doing so. Galas, you grab that village. Pointlessly. Spectres, you do what you do best, which is to move fast and advance. Okay. And the ants aren't even attacking me, which is interesting. So I could go in and attack them with at least, well, with one or maybe two of my units. First of all, King Astogar, let's see how you do against ants. 
You do just fine against ants, that's good to know. We need to just move forward here, form a united front. Like this is a dead end. Okay. If you're determined to get yourself killed by Alfie, <laughs> I mean, even levels. Okay, well that was the most ridiculous waste of units I've seen from an AI player in quite some time. Malkashar, can you take down this spider? Yep, and it's another after maximum level advancement for you too. Okay. Press on. Oh! It's a mother mud crawler. I had heard of unusually large mud crawlers before, but this thing is. Okay. It's level two. It's pretty big, but none of its friends can actually reach me. Can I change that? Can anyone? That's an eye stalk. That can't move. I'm pretty sure these guys, they're very weak against Arcane, so my Spectres should just shred them. Okay, so we've got level 1 mud crawlers, and we've got level 0 mud crawler, and we've got a level 2 mud crawler. Oh yes, impact is fairly ineffective against these guys. One down. leaves the spectres to make uh, mincemeat of the rest. Mm -hmm. 
the ice stalk is actually lawful, so I don't want to put it too near to Alinea, or it will actually be more effective. So you just go around to there. Oh! Damned creatures, you kill our children. You pay with your blood. Fat chance, dimwit. Get out of the way this instant, unless you would rather be ground into dust. Hey, hey, what do we have here? You elves and dwarves are trying to escape through the back door. Uh... Ha, so they are coming to us now. What's your clever plan, rats? <laughs> I'm certain the captain will be very pleased to see your impaled heads topping our banners. We'll have to deal with this scum first, lest they bring news of us to their superiors. Alright, so everyone is fighting each other. I only need to defeat the demons. I don't need to defeat the trolls. Good to know. Can't do any recruiting, can't do any recalling, so I'm dependent on the units I have available to me right now. Damn, I didn't move. Okay, well the Death Knight's not going to be uh, not going to be the MPC in this match then. Very slow. Okay, time to hit the Ice Talk. Oh, that was beautiful. Can I lure the troll leader out to attack me? That would be pretty cool. Let's try it. And he's the only one who can reach. Can he reach that spot there? No. Igor, you can advance just a tad as well, and then we are good to go. actually there that the trolls didn't choose to attack the invoker because the invoker is by far the greater threat to them I mean these imps aren't threats to anyone okay I could go and kill the troll warrior but I think it's inadvisable and I think what I instead want to do it's tricky because most of my units are made worse by being next to a linear. But we ought to expand the outwards. Trolls are weak to arcane damage. So Galas, you come up here, you can fight as many trolls as you like from your defensive position. And if you're in the mushroom, you are invisible and regenerate. So that's cool. None of the other trolls can reach that far over this way, and none of these blue units can either. So I'm going to do that. 
just the troll leader and one regular troll could potentially get in on Elenia. Ah, that was where Malkashar could have moved as well. Okay, over here there's another ice dog. Some of the trolls can reach me down here. But actually only the one... Oh no, okay, that one too. But I don't think the trolls will be that interested in fighting spectres down here. Although I guess we'll find out. You run up here. Actually, you're going to be more useful fighting chaos troops than you are fighting trolls. So you come down here. You can be the one to help fight at the top. Malkashar. And finally, Sir Slow the Slow. Well, it's pretty much inconceivable. Oops. Looks like they're gonna kill the Chaos Leader for me. No, they're not gonna follow through with it. But these units are doing a pretty damn good job of beating themselves up and beating others up. Not beating me up. So that's fine by me. to re reach the exit to the Northlands. Looks like the bridge is out up ahead. Oh, oh no, maybe not. Can you? Yes. Well, you're as, you can float, so you're not the best bet. You can get there too. Okay, so it's not out. Should dispose of the troll leader, probably with Malkashar. Oh, that was a very poor showing from you. You can't reach anyone useful from where you are. one beaten up looking troll. That's one near dead looking troll. Let's finish the job with a spectre. Invokers over here. I don't like that. So they could kill my powerful undead units. This is the one I really want to keep alive. I'm going to hope that the invokers are too occupied with the trolls to attack me, but that's really not something I can count on.
Mr. Slow is up the rear, that's good. That's where he should be, where he will always be. some you lose some and that was pretty unlucky but uh, such is the way of the random number generator you guys are going to need to go down here so you're not going to get into the fight so just cut out the middle one well you might get into the fight I don't have many units here and what I really want to do is kill the invokers Trolls. I say things like no more trolls and then something like that happens. Uh, Malkashire is not fast enough to get in there. Still really want to kill the invokers. Can you go all the way around? Yeah, you can, okay. <laughs> and you get an after maximum level advancement. So you two are both really quite powerful now. If I kill you... Then you can come around here on two hits, please. Okay, so now I've got units that shouldn't, I hope, be able to take anyone out. And I should be able to wrap this up fairly quickly. Now up here there are spiders. My objective is to find an exit to the north ones. So I'm guessing that means I ought to keep going north, but there's also an ice talk down here to the south. Ooh. Bully Malkashar, why don't you? The final one to go down will be Mr. Lapua, the imp. Okay, I guess all my slow troops should now head north and the spectres should check out what's down here.
Okay, that's one less ice stalk, and it seems like this cave is entirely pointless. So I'll just grab the village and see. Alright. What's going on to the north then? Well, more ice stalks. There's a spider. You come out and scout. Okay. So it's currently the only threat that I can see is that spider. Which means that I'm not too bothered about bringing Milongil the Lich up there. bridge really does not look like something I would normally put much weight on. King Asthorgar, you can't get across, so you're going to have to heal. And you. Easy lemon squeezy. Well, ideally you use melee to defeat these eye stalks. Okay, that was weak. Can you reach around here? No, you can't. Okay, so whoever does this next is gonna have to kill the eye stalk or else I lose a spectre. I think using Malkashar here is justified. Okay, that hurt the big M. you go everyone oh there's a, there's a village there I didn't notice okay we'll have to get that later can you get it no nope. can you get it no nope. oh well what happens if I come out here Bowman must die. Affirmative. Ah, oh, another one of those metallic beasts. This is turning out to be harder than we expected. Alright, have to defeat the Goliath. And now you can't go. It's a shame that you uh, that you're on you're on 30% terrain and you don't have any useful defensive abilities. Drain makes you... well, Drain is kind of useless in this circumstance. Okay, so we're going to have to come in with the uh, with the Spectres to help the situation out. Also with, uh, with Igor. Because I think the best offence is a good defence. No, the best defence is a good offence is what applies here.
Okay, so I'm more likely to lose a Spectre here than I am to lose Galas or Igor, I think. So I could lose Igor, he's pretty exposed, they can all attack him. Cannon attack is such a such a meme, it doesn't really actually do that much damage. Alright, slow the mechanical Goliath. And then wipe up the rest of the units over here. Can't do anything useful, so you just go and heal. Okay, it's down to either Malkeshar or this Spectre to finish off the Goliath. Guess it's down to the Spectre then. Sir Slow will be Sir Slow for, for forevermore. Okay, let's see what happens now. Well. Okay, once again the objective is to reach the exit to the Northlands. Whoa! There they are! Don't let them cross the bridge! Hmm, I see. They are the rearguard of our friends. Their blockade would be much more effective if they just demolished the bridge. So surely that captain is right across. Okay, I'm not happy about the fact that there's a dog here and that it can reach my lich. And it might be that Milongil is not long for this world. I have fond memories of her. In Scenario 5, she was the one who leveled all the way up from a Dark Adept. She's had a few maximum level advancements. But now it looks like she is going to get pummeled because there's a lot of people who can reach her. Um, at the very least, two automata, a headhunter, and a hellhound. So, hmm, yeah, it's not too promising. Can anyone reach past that? Okay, only the headhunter can. So I might be able to detract to distract some of these units with interference from. Well, anyone really. Galas, for instance. Um, don't really want. Well, Galas, actually, Galas would be the perfect person for the Hellhound to attack, because Galas is just very powerful in this kind of context. Um, he should be able to drain the Hellhound, and uh, that should compensate for the Berserk ability. What defenses do these guys have? Not great. But then, if Gallus does take a ton of damage from that guy, 
it might not end so well. Okay, you're gonna be 30% defense there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow this. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna stick Ilinia right behind. Malkesha behind that, and you you stay where you are. So advance. And you come up to here. Alright. Bring it on! Thank goodness for drain attacks. Can't drain all summer though. But this sort of fight I can take. I don't want you to get killed. I don't think you should. But if you run across there, will you? Well, the King of Impact Damage is Asthorgar, so I should really get Asthorgar in to deal. How much damage will you do? Not enough, really. Skirmishing units are there here? There are a few, so I need to protect Malkeshar very well if I do this. You two are still out of the fight because you're too slow. say that Zephyr got pretty unlucky, but now I can press forward. Galas even gets a decent defense here and should be able to recoup any damage losses when he kills this Marauder. Yep, nearly full health. slowed and then I want you to kill the demons if you can first you will you both get in if I do this yeah then you Eagle, then stay where you are. And the only person I'm a bit worried about is this spectre down here. I think he's going to get fireballed. Well, let's see how they prioritize their attacks. Okay. 
So that would have been far more effective from these guys if they had just attacked the Spectre, because then they could have actually killed some units. As it was, they barely did any damage to Galas, despite everyone attacking him. They were a little bit unlucky, but equally, I mean, Galas is tough, and he's got Drain, so... Sir Slow make a contribution? No, he can't. Althea and can, though. Sir Slow can make a, an ineffective contribution if he wants to. And get a kill. Okay, well, it wasn't entirely a waste of time bringing you along. I quite like Malka Shah to stay where he is. So that means relying on the Spectres to get the rest of the kills and Galas. This level's a little bit on the manic side, so which bridge do I want to head across? I guess I should scout with whichever spectre is the least injured. This one here. Alright, this bridge is not going to lead anywhere useful. Up here it looks like there's a path to the north, so that's good, that looks more promising. And Galas, you go and grab me one of these houses, maybe this one. No one can get now to this one over here. That's a shame. But I don't need I don't need money, so I don't know what I'm worried, worried about. Um, Igor, you go over there. That's a nice talk, that's interesting. Doesn't look like it's defending anything much. Just a house. Okay, can I be bothered to kill it? Well, let's see what's up here first. I swear to Uriah. This is the end of the road for you, insolent maggots. Prepare to die. Wishful thinking, filth. Okay, we've got a gut wrencher in who's level three, and surely, surely, this is the end of the scenario. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you just come back up this way. No point going over there.
Make sure my spectres are on full health for this battle. These guys, these guys have drain and they also have poison, whereas the basic ones don't have anything. So imps clearly, when they get to level 3, they fill out a bit. Run straight in and have a melee drain battle. It's tempting. Now all of these, other than the, the demon, are actually level... are actually quite weak units, so I think it would actually not be un unwise for Gallus just to go here and tank some attacks. Might even be able to take a few of these guys out. You can go into this. Um, oh, that's best. You're fairly good in defense there. You can go and stand here. So slow can come down here. I don't think they're going to come down this far, unless the unless the boss man wants to come all the way out. In which case, that's fine. It's just going to be him. So I'm going to put Elenia down here too. And the Spectres and Malkeshar can come up behind. Actually, can he go up in front? Yeah, might as well. Oh, if you're in, cross the bridge. You go across the bridge. You go grab some healing. And you come up here getting ready to swoop in next turn. set on, uh, on killing Galas, but Galas is on full health, and you've left your leader exposed. Might get the kill. Okay. You. Okay, now I can mop up from the bottom here. So slow is too slow. You're not too slow. You could go here. person attacks you, you get a level. Alright. Can you get in here? You can. Just. Don't want to lose Igor on this final at uh, this final hurdle, so I'm just going to stick him on this house. <coughs> I 
Okay, I've got strength two. Plus one melee strike, hit points plus four. I've got thorns that I could go for. I've got focus, which gives me plus one fairy fire damage. Now that is an attack that I use a lot, so I think I'm going to go for that one. what you get when you mess with so slow. And that's what you get when you mess with Marcus Shah. And that's what you get when you mess with one of my specters. Especially this one. Well, no, not especially this one. Any of them, really. Who needs a level? Who wants a level you can kill an end boss here and get one? What's my objective? Locate and eliminate the rearguard captain. Okay, so I don't know if I'll actually win the scenario when I take this guy out. Um, and just in case I do, I want to get some experience with the rest first. clear these guys out, I'm going to want my ranged troops. Who's tougher? You're tougher. Okay, Malkia Shah can deal with you. And then Alinea can come in and deal with you. Alright, now the way is open. And you're so close, you're so close. I think, you know, if anyone deserves the biscuit, it is you. How could I fail like this? Forgive me, master. <laughs> <laughs> the imp's body is dissolving into slime. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. This is truly disgusting. Okay, can these slimes actually kill any of my troops? I hope not, but I do need to try and preserve this spectre's life. That's a dark spot. Okay, good. So, what do I have over here? Is there anything over here? It looks like a dead end. The exit! At last! Follow me! We made it! and there are no signs of demons. Ah, oh, I can feel the wind in my hair again. It is cold, but it's a refreshing change from the stale air of the deep caverns. You know, returning to the surface doesn't seem all that great to me. 
but at least it's not the desert. I wish Anlinde was here with us, to breathe the fresh air and contemplate the beautiful landscape. So do I. And so, Galas and his band left the dark caves beneath the Hart Mountains for the Northern Lands. After making sure there were no foes in sight, they signalled the rest of their group to emerge from the caverns. The fate of Anlinde was to remain uncertain to all of them, but this did not deter other elves and dwarves from telling legends of her last battle against Chaos. Her courage and resolve would be remembered by many for generations to come, and in time, the dwarves of Hearthgar would build a gleaming silver temple to pay tribute to her great sacrifice. May your soul find peace, Anlinde. And with the beginning here of scenario 13, Face Your Fate, that is where we're going to take a break. <laughs> 